three plates should feel pretty good. Really biased in the upper peck here. I might sit here for four sets. I mean, I'll see how it feels, of course. You know, if it feels like shit, then I'll move on to something else. I did do like two reps as a feeler, and I can tell it's uh, it's definitely hitting me in the groove. Oh, Samuel, we've caught you yet again using science-based practices within your training. At this point, just commit fully to the other side, where the real power is at. The machine Sam is using here is a seated hammer strength inclined chest press, and whereas he is not locking down thoughts using a full range of motion, that's actually a good thing, and I'll quickly explain why that is and give my thoughts on the machine for growing your chest, which may surprise you. First, we need to understand an important physiological concept known as neuromechanical matching, as neuromechanical matching simply tells us that whichever muscle has the best leverage on an exercise is the one getting the most central motor command, and thus the most motoring recruitment, thereby allowing more of its muscle fibers to receive a growth stimulus. And when delving into the exercise science literature, the pecs seem to have the best leverage in the mid position as measured by its internal moment arm length. On top of this, the pecs exist on the ascending limb of the length tension relationship in addition to the descending limb and plateau, thus it'll suffer from active insufficiency at short lengths. So obviously, the pecs won't experience much mechanical tension at those shorter lengths, in other words, towards the top of the press. Now keep this all in mind, let's look at the machine, which mind you, most of you will have. Despite this machine's excellent alignment and stability, it does have an ascending resistance profile, meaning it's easiest at the bottom and hardest at the top, so it does get more difficult as you press. This loading pattern is essentially inverse of what we want for the pecs because again the pecs have the best leverage in the mid position so we do want the most loading in other words we want it to be the most difficult towards the bottom to mid part of the lift so that we can match the leverage of the target tissue with where the most effort is required in the lift so that the pecs can get the most motoring recruitment and thus the best growth stimulus how we get around this though when using this machine though is simply by just doing what sam was doing and that is staying in that length in the mid range so not coming close to full elbow extension or lockup you could even call these length and partials if you wanted to but this is how the range of motion should look when using this machine for the pecs mind you in the short position, that is where the front delts and especially the triceps will have the best leverage. If you want to train the pecs best, avoid that small portion of the lift at the top. And we should do this with most plate-loaded chest press machines. Even other brands will have ascending resistance profiles. However, most pin-loaded machines seem to have a better resistance profile, but you'll have to feel it out for yourself. Given this, I generally recommend a seated converging pin-loaded chest press machine or a Smith machine inclined chest press. And whereas it'll still be better to not lock out here due to no converging via horizontal adduction, it'll still have a better loading pattern and it'll feel a little bit more stable lying versus seated. In a perfect world, this would also be reverse banded to add a bit more load in the mid-range as by default it's mostly length and loaded and in an ultra perfect world you would have access to a prime branded line converging chest press machine as these machines actually allow you to adjust the loading in different positions to your liking lastly now would i use this machine over an incline dumbbell press the answer is sometimes personally i do smith pressing most often and then use these two exercises for variation so i hope that helps and as always drop a comment if you have any questions and be sure to like and follow for more productive training